Right, um, just a short little bit of my um, nitrogen purging setup. That's a normal, normal regulator, which doesn't go as high as the normal ones used for pressure testing. That's just like um, something you'd have in a welder or something. Um, and that's uh, same again. That's the sort of flow meter you'd have on a MIG welder or TIG welder or something, so you could set the uh, gas flow up. Um, you've got your tube coming off here into whatever bit of pipe you're going to be brazing. Um, really, you want a nice. What we used to do is put a bit of quarter inch pipe in the end of this and poke it through the plastic cap, um, but they can melt. If it's a bit, if you're brazing a bit near that, so I, I did, I never got around to doing it, but I did think of getting some end caps, um, copper caps, and um, brazing a bit of quarter inch into them, so you could have one for any size pipe you want, and you could just push it on the end and braze away here without any worries of um, melting the plastic cap. Um, and obviously, it's got to be needs to be open the other end so it can purge. Um, and you set the reg, you don't need much on there, I think it's about 15, 15 psi that's set on now. I forget the camera in the right way. Um, yeah, you don't want to go too high. Oh, I think this thing says, I think it says good for 100 psi, but it's only plastic, so the lower the better really. And then you just adjust it on the side here. Uh, there we go. So this is in litres a minute, but I suspect you could get cubic feet ones as well. Um, so say we want to set it for 10, well, yeah, let's go to 10. You just wind it up until, there you go. So that'd be 10 litres a minute, which is, I mean, you probably wouldn't need that much. I think we used to run it around about 5. That's as simple as that, really. Um, I used to have a tap, a um, quarter inch tap on the end so you could you could just shut it off quick and as soon as the flow drops that drops down um, to the bottom. That's one of the other reasons you really don't want a lot of pressure in there because if, if as soon as you shut this I expect the little flow regulator would be, the whole pipe would get pressurised up to um, whatever you had this set on so something low is ideal. Um, Simple as that, really. Um, I've got this connection here. Was was um, I think the regulator was about fourteen pounds, so they're not a great deal of money. It might have been eighteen, somewhere like that. But I think this little fitting here um, cost more than this than the flow regulator. Um, what that is, you just pull that out of there. It's a quick coupler, a bit like you'd have on an airline. But I think this bit's stainless steel. Um, it's a much higher quality fitting than you'd have on a standard airline, like you have in a garage or mechanics or something. Um, it doesn't doesn't leak at all. Um, hang on a bit. Just pushes back in again. Because again, it's designed for being on like a MIG welder or something, so it makes it easily portable. Um, you don't want to be undoing the hose all the time. You want, you know. Finding something that's too difficult to use, it doesn't get used, you know, so uh, that's that really. That's um simple as. Just uh, just up and down. Something I did think about again, you can get um a little extension that go in between there with a the tap, which would be better than just shutting the regulator off, because what I find if you shut the regulator off, the um pressure increases in the um in that one. I don't mind like leaving them on, so it'd be nice to be able to shut a little tap here and then shut this without worrying about it suddenly over pressurising this. Um, so that's that really. Um, the other thing is my little um, oil pan. Um, drain pan for a vac pump. It's, uh, this one's made by Sealy. And 
undo that. Little vent there and undo that one. Uh, put it on the floor. Stick your vac pump on there and just drain the oil into it. Easy as. And then uh, these things have got O-rings on there, so you go in the back of the van, it's never leaked. So it's quite a good little thing. You've got quite a big connection there when you want to empty it. I think it's about seven litres. It's, it's enough to do a car engine. So it's ideal for doing vac pumps and then you, you know just give it a wipe with a paper towel or something. So it's making a lot of mess. Hmm. That's it.